In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own review-based website with affiliate links and all those kinds of good things in around 15 minutes for no cost at all. Obviously, you're going to need to have your hosting and your domain name, but other than that, all the tools I'm going to show you are completely and utterly free. So this is the kind of site we can take a look at creating. It's already a great looking site. It's a good starting point. You can see if we come into reviews, open up any other products inside our reviews, and you can see we've got multiple images. We've got a sort of breakdown overall score. We can read more information, buy it now, which we could use for our affiliate links, summaries, all those kinds of cool bits of information, everything inside here, all set up for us. And like I say, in around 15 minutes, you can have a site looking pretty much identical to this. Now you can start adding your own content to it and get up and running. Now the good news is we're only going to use one piece of software for pretty much all of this. Now we'll see you can add in your SEO and all those kinds of good things afterwards. That's not what this video is about. This is about how you get that site up and running and then you can tag on whatever you need. But if you'd like a more deep dive into how to create all of this from scratch, including hosting, link tracking and all those kinds of good things, let me know in the comment section down below. And if enough people are interested, well, I'll create a video covering exactly that. But for now, let's take this quick link into creating everything. So for this, we're going to be using the free Bloxy theme. And the reason why is because it's got some great starter sites, but it's also got built into it the ability to add in reviews. And then we can customize things if we want to, or take it exactly as it is by using one of the starter sites. That's what we're going to cover in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch this site. Now I'm using InstaWP for this, so it means that I can install a copy of this and have everything I've been running in around one second. So what I'm going to do is click on Launch. That will take me into my InstaWP account. And as you can see, my site is now ready to log in and start creating. Now for me, using something like this is great because you can see how quick and easy it is to get up and running, but also the fact that I could easily build this out, get everything where I want it to be, and then I can simply use the option to migrate this then over to the live server and have everything up and running in minutes. Again, if you'd like to find out more about InstaWP, links are in the description to my detailed videos on using that. Okay, so now we've done this, let's magic log into our new site. Now inside my newly created dashboard, you can see at the top we've got to install the Bloxy Companion. This is just a companion plugin that gives us extra features, including the ability to have the reviews. So let's install that, and that now takes us into the Bloxy settings. And inside here, we've got starter sites, which we'll come back to in a moment. We've also got extensions. If we open the extensions up, you can see inside here, we've got the option for product reviews. We could enable this and then use whatever kind of setup we want and create everything from scratch, but that's a little bit beyond what I wanna cover in this video. But like I say, if you want something like that, let me know in the comment section below. But this will give you all the same features. I'm gonna show you how to use one of the starter sites to get installed and up and running. So let's head over to starter sites. As you can see, we've got a range of great looking sites. Some of these are pro, but there's a bunch available in here for free. And if we scroll right the way down to the bottom, you can see there's our product reviews. We can preview this if we want to, or we can go and import it. So let's import this. This will then ask us, do we want to install a child theme? I would always recommend you do because if you want to make modifications to the themes afterwards, it's better to do that inside the child theme as opposed to doing it inside the main theme. So we click next. Then we'll ask us, do we want to use Gutenberg, the native Gutenberg editor, alongside Stackable in this example, or we want to use Elementor, and this is the free version of Elementor. Up to you which you prefer. I'm going to stick with Gutenberg so we've got the kind of easiest setup, and we'll click on Next. We can choose what additional plugins are going to be used. If you've got your own form plugin, you can disable this. And if you want to, you could also disable Stackable, but that would kind of mess up the whole way things look, so we'll leave that on there. We will take the form off, though. We'll click on Next. Then this will ask us, do you want to load in all the options, content, and so on? So for this example, I'll say yes, but you may want to set everything up minus the content to start from scratch, but have everything else configured for you. But we'll leave this as it is, leave clean install so it removes any old versions, and we'll click install, and wait for a few moments as this goes through, installs everything, adds the content, and sets everything up for us. Now before moving on, here's a quick message from today's video sponsor, Hostinger. Now, Hostinger offers high-quality hosting solutions to help you get started with WordPress. Their plans provide 24-7 chat support, free SSL, a free domain, a supercharged CDN, and automated backups with plans to suit every budget. Now, Hostinger also provides tools to help you experiment safely with WordPress and easily backup your site. Their WordPress staging tool allows you to test changes before making them live, and with Hostinger's WordPress AI, you can use automated website development tools and AI-powered content creation. 
Discover more about hosting as hosting solutions through the link below and use my unique discount code to save on your order. And there we go. After about two minutes, everything has now been set up for us. We can click on customize and go straight over into the customizer if we want to, or we can visit the site, or we can simply click outside. Let's visit our site to start off. And as you see, we've now got identical copy of what I showed you right back at the beginning. Like I say, it all looks pretty cool, but the nice thing is every part of this is totally editable. It's pretty nice. And the fact that we're using the Bloxy theme, there's an abundance of options to customize even further what you can do inside the actual page itself. So let's hop over into our review section. There's all our products for review. Let's open this one up on this watch. You can see everything looks pretty cool. Everything we've seen is already there and it all looks really nice. So this is the front end, we've seen this now, but what about the back end? Let's edit this product and take a look at the additional options for the affiliate and review setup. So looking at a typical product review, you can see there's our normal content inside the typical Gutenberg editor, including featured image, the categories we're associated with, and so on. The magic though is underneath where we've got the Bloxy settings, and this is all to do with the reviews. You can see we've got two tabs, the general and the rating tab, and the rating allows us to match that up with the different points we want to draw your attention to, maybe the price, maybe the feature set, those kinds of things. So you can set this up for your scores, you can set this up for your product specs, your pros, your cons, all those things are listed here. And if we take a look at a product, you can see this is where the information displays. So all the different features are listed here. If we scroll down a little bit, we've got the specs, the pros, the cons. These are all mapped to those custom fields that are inside Bloxy itself. So if you want to add more, you can just simply click on add new item. You want to edit any of these, you can click to expand and you can see we can change the label. And I can set the score, we can say 5 on there or 4.9, whatever you want. And that will adjust the stars accordingly. All built for you. You don't have to do any of this. Again, you can see the pros and cons and so on inside here. Then you've got the general settings, and this is where you can choose the review entity, what type of review it is, whether it's a product, a book, and so on. Again, we can control the content inside here. You can add and edit images to the gallery, so you want to put a product gallery together to show all the different features and so on, you can do that. Then you've got your button information, so you can see we can change the text that's written on the button. We can also drop in our affiliate link, and this is probably the most important part, and this is where you may want to use something like ClickWhale or another service that allows you to shorten and track links so you can see what links are clicked on, where they come from, so if you're sending things out via email marketing, using your website, doing social media, different trackable links to the same product can all be used in there. Then you can track and find out which are the most successful and modify your plans accordingly. But this is where you would use that inside here. If you want to, you can set up some basic information about do you want to open a new tab, not recommended for accessibility, and whether this is set as a sponsored attribute. So this will apply it to specify any way that clicks the link. It will report back to the search engines. This is a sponsored link. And then underneath you've got your read more button for your read more content and the short description that you want to use inside you. It really couldn't get any simpler than that. You now have a fully working site all set up and running. But what if you want to customize different aspects of it? Let's take a quick look at the options we have there as well. If we hop over into the normal WordPress customizer, you'll see the Bloxy gives us tons of control. So we're currently looking at one of the example product reviews. And you can see we can customize various different aspects there. So we can customize the general. So this will allow us to customize buttons, breadcrumbs, and so on. So some very general topics. But we can filter this right the way down. We can customize our header. And we've got a full header builder inside you. You want to select your menu, for example. You can open this up and you can change the look and feel. So even though you're starting with a starter template, you can customize this to whatever you want it to look like within reason. So we may change it to type three, for example, and we'd have a different set of menu structures then. So you can see we get this nice hover effect. We may want this one, which gives us a nice little simple underline. You can come into design and you can customize the color scheme inside you. You can change the drop down, the design. You kind of get the idea of how much there is to be able to customize this starter site to whatever you want it to look like. Come back out of the menu structure side of things, come back out of the menu customizer, we can customize our overall color schemes, so we can change any of our global colors, individual colors, all those kinds of good things. We can set things up, check it, what it's going to look like on all the different responsive views. But using one of these starter sites, it already looks pretty amazing. And like I say, all the customizations you'll make inside here will flow down through your site, and they're all going to scale beautifully when it comes to the different kind of responsive resolutions. Come back out of this, for example, and we can come in then to the individual post types, pages, and also our product reviews. 
So if we come into the single product review, which is what we're currently looking at, we can now customize the look of this and adjust various different aspects. For example, you may want to make this boxed, or you could make it boxed. You want to make it wide, you want to change the overall narrow width, wide width, and so on. So you can see underneath our content is now slimmer. You kind of get the idea. Do you want to hide or show the featured image, for example? And then any way you've got these options with the little arrow popping out, we can click on there and we can customize it further. So where we've got the sharing options, for example, you can see here, you can click edit if you want to, but also you can do it inside here as well. So you can see the module title is currently disabled, but you may want to enable that. And you can see now that puts share your love in, but you can customize what it says there. You can choose the box location, top or bottom. You can choose exactly what networks you can share to. For example, you don't want these ones. Well, just simply go and disable them. You want to add in something like WhatsApp and email, select them and you can see it adds them in there for you. It really is incredibly easy. You can set all your links to no follow and so on, change your icon sizes, your colors, visibility across different devices. You get the idea. This now gives you huge amounts of control. You want to change the design, change the design. Want to change the overall design color scheme? You can see we can change that here as well. So this is really, really simple to set everything up. Once you've finished making all the amendments you want to make, simply hit publish to commit those and you have all those changes in place. So you could make this look pretty much any way that you wanted to using this as a starting point. But what about if you want to edit the actual pages? You want to get down to the sort of nuts and bolts. Again, let's take a quick look. So let's open up our home page and you can see we've got everything set up inside you. Now this is using Stackable for controlling the design elements. You don't have to use this. You could choose to start from scratch, use whatever tools you want, even just stick with native Gutenberg should you want to. But the options are there however you want to work. But this is all being set up using Stackable, the free version. But as you can see, if we open Stackable up, when we choose any of these options, you can see we now get a lot more control than we'd have using just native Gutenberg. So we've got all these additional options. You've also got a full design library of free and pro if you wanted them, different layouts, different block designs, different wireframes. So you could use this as a starting point, add what you wanted in. So say, for example, we want to add this in, we'll click to add that into our design. We now have that inserted and we can start making changes to the content to this, change the images and so on everything you should need to do. If we looked on the right hand side, you can see there's a bunch of options here for controlling and styling everything here. So you can click, open up your media library, add your images in, we'll select this one as an example. You can see that now adds that in, we can start editing the text. All the options you should need are here. And Stackable is a really nice tool to work with. Like I said, the free version gives you a lot of tools to be able to create and design things. So if you don't want to use Stackable, you could just as easily remove this and start with a clean slate. Just enable the option to do the reviews as part of the free Bloxy theme, and you have everything you need. Then you can build this out however you want to. But you're going to end up with a fast loading, easy to update site that has those options built in for dealing with reviews. And it all looks pretty cool anyway. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care. Thank you.